During this lesson, we construct a lady's top with a dart in the front with shearing on one side of the dart for fullness. In the process, we demonstrate how to use the block library, the cut tool, and the shearing tool. We start with basic blocks for a lady's top. Then, draw the low V neckline with the Bezier polyline tool. Type 1.25 quick step and left click on the shoulder line. A point is added at 1.25 inches away from the closest point. Type BB quick step and right click to finish the line and start curve blending. Select the cut line. Left click the line to cut the pattern into two pieces. Delete the unwanted piece by selecting it and typing the delete key. In order to add a dart, draw the dart line using the Bezier polyline tool. First, we add a dart to the bottom hemline. Use the V quick step method with the default tool to add the dart. Select the T section. Type V and dart width amount and click the dart reference line to enter the V dart shape. We want to transfer the dart amount to the slash line we added before. Switch to the dart transfer tool. Select the two V shapes and drag a line from one side of the dart to the opposite side. The dragged V shape is closed and the other dart opening becomes wider. Now transfer the dart to the slash line. Select the shearing tool. Select the two opposing sides of the shearing area and click one end of the side. The click side is where the fanning out happens. The shearing is performed by subdividing the area into the specified divisions and applying the pivot operation. We want to lengthen the upper section by four inches total. Here, we demonstrate that the tool can be used to subtract shearing amount as well. The shearing tool supports the BB quick step for curve blending also. Blend the curve. Designate the mirror line using the M quick step. Drag from one end of the mirror line to the other end. Select the group by holding down the control key while dragging. Type control with the up or down keys to unfold and fold the pattern. <laughs> 